This video was made in collaboration with Narutopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. Every Jutsu in Naruto, Part 4 Jutsu are the mystical arts a ninja will utilize in battle. To use a technique, the ninja will need to use their chakra. To perform a technique, the ninja will bring out and release the two energies of chakra. By forming hand seals, the ninja is able to manifest the desired technique. Because of the extensive number of hand seals and different combinations, there are thousands of potential techniques to be discovered. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over part 4 of every jutsu in Naruto. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Chimera Technique The Chimera Technique is a kinjutsu that was developed by Hiroko, a missing nin of Konohagakure, in order to compensate for his lack of natural special abilities. It was originally meant to combine separate living bodies of organisms into one combined organism, bearing the original characteristics of each, and therefore create a synthetic body. After seeing Kakashi bearing the Sharingan, Hiroko uses the technique to integrate the bodies of others with his own allowing him to obtain any Kekai Genkai they possess, as well as any other special physical traits and absorb their chakra. Circular Formation This is a supplementary maneuver used by Kakashi's Ninken which involves the hounds standing in a circle. They can also leave one dog in the middle to be the focus of the opponent's attack while allowing them to perform other techniques, such as the Ninken Ninja Art Dance of the Dust Cloud. Claw Creation Technique this technique allows the user to temporarily enhance the normal growth of the nails on both their hands and feet, causing them to grow considerably larger in a short space of time as a result. It also seemingly enhances the durability of the nails, allowing them to even clash against swords without breaking. Clay Clone A highly convenient technique characteristic of Daedara. Above most other clone techniques, this clone has the double roll. It acts as a substitute and a trap for capturing the enemy. Made from clay, this clone can take attacks and capture the enemy by taking them into its own body. The clone shows its natural shape the instant a body goes through. While the clay changes in hardness, the enemy is skillfully immobilized. Cliff Climbing Practice This is a training method which involves climbing a high or steep cliff using one or two arms. It is meant to improve one's strength and discipline. Cloak of Invisibility Technique The user covers themselves with a cloak that has a color and pattern matching the nearby surroundings, concealing their presence by seamlessly blending in. The user can then gather intel from their position or wait for an opportunity to stage an ambush on unsuspecting targets. Although skilled ninja can make effective use of this technique, unskilled ninja can be particularly ineffective. During his time as an academy student, Konohamaru Sarutobi routinely uses poor disguises, such as trying to blend in with a fence using a horizontal pattern rather than a vertical one. While only a basic skill, Magire Kakuremino was able to effectively camouflage himself without the use of a pre-prepared cloth and freely move about, all while blending in with his surroundings. Clone Body Blow Naruto and his four shadow clones work together to deliver a physical attack from a distance. There is no set pattern, steps, or method as to how this is done, instead relying on Naruto's characteristic unpredictability to be devised in the moment. When he uses this against Gara, three Shadow Clones distract Gara while the fourth throws Naruto at him, intended to deliver a body blow. Because one of his Shadow Clones is throwing him, Naruto's body blow ends up being more accurate and damaging than what he could do on his own. Clone Flying Arrow Naruto creates two clones who grab each other while Naruto grabs them both. Naruto starts spinning around to gather sufficient speed and then releases the clones at the target in a shuriken-like fashion to strike them. Clone Great Explosion The user creates a shadow clone, intending for their opponents to attack the clone at close range. After a certain amount of time has passed, the clone detonates, creating a large explosion. If opponents happen to notice that it's a shadow clone, they may be able to escape in time, for which reason the user should probably try to conceal the clone's identity and purpose as much as possible. Clone Snakes 
After implanting Orochimaru's DNA, Kabuto used some of Orochimaru's snakes to develop a large amount of tiny snakes that multiply at a rapid rate and can merge into either a clone of another living being, using a genetic sample, or a larger serpent for combat. They also have incredible regenerative abilities. This not only created a clone Hidan, it also created one of Naruto with Kurama's chakra as well. However, for Hidan, the clone snakes have a short lifespan, with what they form into eventually suffering a cellular breakdown within 48 hours of existence. Clone Snakes, Serpent Technique Kabuto slams his hand on the surface of water containing his specially developed snakes and emits dark red lightning, which causes the snakes to take on the form of a giant blue snake with a red mouth and no eyes. The snake then rams and pushes the enemy underwater in an attempt to drown them. Kabuto used this technique within the hole, which is known to speed up the recreation process of his snakes. Clone Spinning Heel Drop after creating several shadow clones, Naruto and his clones launch themselves into the air and begin to somersault. They then come spinning down, slamming their heels onto the opponent's shoulders and head. Clone Technique This is a basic technique that every shinobi can use. In fact, Konohagakure's Ninja Academy prevents students from graduating unless they master this technique, for which reason Naruto Uzumaki failed three years in a row. For this technique, users create one or more afterimages of themselves to move alongside them. Unlike most other clone techniques, these afterimages have no substance and thus are incapable of damaging opponents. Because of this, it is only useful for confusing enemies while other attacks are prepared. Clone Trap The Clone Trap is a technique that uses an Earth clone to restrict an opponent's movements. When the opponent is preparing to land a physical blow, the user quickly creates an Earth clone to take the hit instead. The Earth Clone will then revert to mud, which uniquely hardens to restrain the opponent's limb, as the rest of their body is spread with cursed seals. However, it can be overcome with enough willpower. Cloth Binding Technique The user uses a giant roll of cloth to tightly wrap up the intended opponent, completely immobilizing them, thus preventing them from moving or using any techniques. The ability itself is versatile, as once completed, Additional further seals can be placed on top of the bound victims, preventing them from being summoned while in effect. This technique is used by Sunogakure Ninja. Mere physical contact with the cloth seems to be required to use this technique. Cloud Style Crescent Moon Beheading The user swings their sword in a single, large, crescent moon-shaped arc, which occurs with such ferocious velocity that the technique can be employed in situations where only a very limited time to react is available. The swing can be used to counter attacks from multiple opponents simultaneously. Cloud Style Deception Beheading Using the body replacement technique to feign being attacked, the user takes advantage of their opponent's momentary shock and charges forward with a lateral sword slash. Cloud Style Flame Beheading The user first imbues their blade with fire before slashing in the direction of the desired enemy resulting in the creation of large arcs of intense flame that follow the trajectory of the previous swing. A skilled user of this technique, such as Atsui, is capable of surrounding their immediate area with a circular wall of flames, incinerating multiple targets even if they approach from numerous angles simultaneously. Cloud Style Reverse Beheading The user does a powerful spin, generating the momentum needed to slash at any opponents behind them. The user can also utilize this spinning motion to trick an enemy that's in front of them. The enemy is fooled into thinking the user will attack them, but instead the user attacks the targets behind the user. Cocoon With the help of Chomei, the user creates a cocoon that allows them to suppress chakra absorption from outside sources, providing additional defenses at the same time. The cocoon is highly durable and can only be pierced with a chakra blade, and only when hit in its weak spot which can be found via the Byakugan. Coercion Sharingan With a single glance of the Sharingan, this technique forces a nightmarish genjutsu on the victim, overpowering them and bringing them to their knees. Even the usually emotionless Sai was deeply affected by this genjutsu. Coiling Around Manda, being a giant snake, can coil around their prey and strangle it, no matter how big it is. Combination Transformation this is an advanced version of the transformation technique, where two or more users combine into one form in order to gain that form's physical abilities. 
Because there's more than one user involved, some of the prep work can be split between users, such as by having one provide the chakra while another performs the hand seals. Compression Rasengan By overlapping the Rasengan as it's formed in the dominant hand with the other hand, the user compresses and condenses it to its limit. In this state, it can penetrate targets with little resistance. Even if the impact is reduced by a strong defense to the point of making it non-lethal, it can still knock out powerful opponents. At the same time, its compressed nature can cause severe recoil, greatly straining the user's arm, making it dangerous to use often. Concealed Sand Picture Cat The Concealed Sand Picture Cat is a contact type sensory technique. By dispersing chakra-infused sand into a specific area, the user is able to discern the presence of moving bodies that come into direct contact with it. This sensing sand can be spread across a wide terrain, or even float in the air, allowing aerial foes to be detected. Once the sand comes in contact with the person, it will wrap itself around them, rendering even invisible targets visible. Conch Cannon after Kandachi performs the necessary hand seals, the Conch King fires a number of needle-like projectiles from its body pores. Conch Whip After Kandachi performs the necessary hand seals, the Conch King uses one or more of its chakra tongues to whip or restrain the opponent. The user can also pump their chakra into the Conch King, increasing the tongue's length and speed. It's shown that repeated hits with the tongue can eventually kill the victim. Confinement Barrier a type of barrier ninjutsu utilized by the Konoha Barrier Team. After using themselves as the perimeter for the barrier, a barrier is erected and then takes on a dome shape capable of even trapping Nue. To ensure Konoha's ability to respond to a crisis, Naruto routinely trains Konoha Shinobi to use the barrier, usually releasing his own powerful chakra to test their limit. The barrier apparently does not prevent people from entering as the 7th Hokage was able to enter it without any issues. Similarly, a space-time ninjutsu was able to breach the barrier. Continuous Tailed Beast Balls The Tailed Beast or Transformed Jinchuriki fires multiple uncompressed tailed beast balls in rapid succession at the target. Contract Seal When the user implements this fuinjutsu on a summoner, it removes any direct control the summoner has over a summoned creature. Close contact appears to be required for the implementation of the seal. Minato Namikaze used this technique to wrest a Sharingan-controlled Kurama from Tobi's control. Though the contract seal removes the summoner's ability to control its summon, it does not give the user of the Fuinjutsu the ability to control the summon in turn. Doing this, however, seems to negate the time limit that a controlled summoning creature is in the present place. Coral Palm While in his transformed state, Yagura strikes the opponent with a powerful blow, causing a large formation of coral to quickly grow from the initial point of contact. This then rapidly solidifies and restricts the enemy's mobility, as the substance continues to grow, eventually covering their entire body. Corpse Clone Technique The Corpse Clone Technique is a kinjutsu that allows the user to assume the identity of their victims. By opening their mouth wide, akin to a snake, the user will consume the target's living brain after which the user gains the victim's memories, abilities, and can take on their physical likeness perfectly. This technique is perfect for infiltration and spying, leaving targets none the wiser as the user becomes a perfect replica. In the anime, the changes are implied to not require upkeep once performed, as Shoujoji was able to keep impersonating Tsukiyo at Hozuki Castle, despite being branded with Fire Release Heavenly Prison, which prevents one from using Chakra. Crane Wing Formation after jumping into the air, the Ninken attack the enemy from a circular formation reminiscent of a crane's wings. After surrounding the opponents, the hounds then bite the target's limbs, rendering them unable to react as they plummet to the ground. Crane Wing Formation – 8 Gates The Crane Wing Formation is a collaboration technique used by seven members of the Suicide Corps after activating the sixth gate. The users line up side by side and enter the sixth gate. Upon doing so, they leap at their opponent, able to reach high up into the sky. The aura surrounding the users as a collective gives off the appearance of a crane's wings spread out, hence the name. When enclosing it on a target, the technique acts like a powerful blade, capable of destroying most of a gigantic meteorite. Creation of All Things Technique the Creation of All Things technique was a technique possessed by Hagoromo Otsutsuki that allowed him to turn fantasy into reality. 
The process he used is explained to have initially involved the administration of imagination, and the spiritual energy which forms the basis of yin chakra to create physical forms from nothingness. Then, through the application of vitality and the physical energy that forms the basis of yang chakra, he would breathe life into the resulting creations. The tailed beasts were created from the ten tails chakra with this technique. In the anime, when using this ability, the beings created are minuscule and surrounded by a magatama-like green energy pod. Creation Rebirth The Creation Rebirth was invented by Tsunade with the resolution to protect the lives of her comrades. By releasing a large amount of chakra at once, the body's cell division is forcibly stimulated. Whenever the body's tissues are damaged or an organ is destroyed, the injury will instantly heal regardless of the severity. So long as the creation rebirth remains active, the user cannot die, earning it recognition as the pinnacle of medical ninjutsu, and the ultimate regeneration technique. Creation rebirth does not repair the old cells, instead hastening the creation of new ones through division. Because a body's cells can only split a certain number of times, the user shortens their natural lifespan whenever this technique is used. Crimson Earth Using the large mechanical drill on his right arm, Toki fires it in the direction he desires with such force that it can literally change the geography of the affected area. He used this technique to create a fork in the river, which he used as a choke point where he can attack his opponents. Crimson Mist Barrier Technique by summoning a thick wall of mist, the user can impair sight for all within it. It also masks any sound from being heard outside of the mist. Crow Clone Technique This is a clone technique utilized by Itachi Uchiha, a technique that produces a clone by projecting one's own chakra towards dozens of crows. Because it uses crows as a medium, it requires less chakra than the normal shadow clone technique, while still being able to perform techniques. The dozens of crows then come together to form the body of a clone. The same crows of the dispersed clone can regroup and form a new clone immediately. When the chakra projected by the user is severed, the crows disperse, though the user is still able to continue to speak through it. When the crow clone is defeated, the crows can regroup to form a new clone immediately, or failing that can be used to blind the opponent, leaving them open to a counterattack. Crystal Armor this technique allows Guren to cover her skin with a thin sheet of pink crystal that improves her defense against physical attacks. This armor can also aid her to perform stronger physical attacks. The crystal is transparent and can only be noticed by a light reflecting off it. Crystal Release Crimson Fruit Guren creates a dome of pink crystal to surround a target. It's highly durable from both external and internal attacks and can be used to either protect or trap a target. Crystal Release, Crystal Encampment Wall Guren sends out a wave of chakra, which then turns into an almost impenetrable red crystal wall, given the fact that it repairs itself when damaged. Only Shino's enhanced insects were capable of weakening the wall enough for Kakashi to finally destroy it with his lightning cutter. Crystal Release, Crystal Imprisonment Wave a technique similar to Guren's crystal release, Crystal Pentagonal Prison, where she instead sends a wave of pink crystal particles through the air to encase them in crystal. Crystal Release, Crystal Lance. This technique allows Guren to create a large and sharp blue spear-like crystal surrounding her forearm, which she can then use to impale her target. Crystal Release, Crystal Needles. Guren creates long, sharp pink crystals that shoot at the target at extremely high speeds with pinpoint accuracy. She can also create smaller version of pink crystals to trap her targets. Crystal Release Crystal Pentagonal Prison Guren completely encases her opponents in pink crystal using the surface beneath them. When shattered, the bodies of the victims disintegrate along with the crystal particles. It's shown through examination with Shino's Kikaichu that those affected by the technique are covered in a frostbite-like pattern. Crystal Release Crystal Wheel Guren creates a ring-shaped wheel out of pink crystal and has it circle around her, allowing her to keep above water and reach high speeds. Crystal Release Growing Crystal Thorns Guren creates pink thorn-like crystals that she can manipulate to continuously grow towards her target's direction. Crystal Release Jade Crystal Blade Guren materializes a blue crystal blade on her forearm to engage in combat. It has proven to be durable enough to block shuriken and kunai. If need be, she can create a crystal blade on each forearm. 
Crystal Release, Jade Crystal Hexagonal Pillars. By creating five large pink crystalline pillars around the user, this technique can be used to enhance the potency of other techniques. It was used to greatly amplify Yukimaru's ability to the point where he could summon the Three Tails, although with assistance from Kabuto's medication. Crystal Release, Jade Crystal Labyrinth Technique. First, Guren creates a large number of red crystal flowers. Then, she can grow these flowers into a gigantic labyrinth consisting of red crystals. Enemies trapped inside will mostly be lost because of the fact that the red crystals reflect their personal image as well as generating mirror images of the roots, paths, and details within the labyrinth, confusing and intimidating them. It is even capable of confusing the Byakugan because of its reflective nature. Because of the crystal's stable molecular structure, a simple attack focused at one point is rendered useless, and its wide surface will disperse the force of wide-range attacks, reducing their effectiveness. To overcome this technique, an attack that has impact force both wide and powerful is required to smash through it. Crystal Release Jade Crystal Mirror Guren outstretches her arms in a position where her hands are open, and materializes a pink chakra-like energy into a large jade green mirror in the shape of a snowflake, which she can then use to perform the Jade Crystal Clone Technique. Crystal Release Jade Crystal Prison Technique this technique, which seems to be Crystal Release, Crystal Pentagonal Prison on a smaller scale or a minor version of it, the technique allows Guren to completely encase a single target in pink crystal. If the crystal is shattered, the victim disintegrates along with the crystal particles. However, Hinata was able to surround her body with chakra before she was completely encased, thereby avoiding the disintegration effect. Therefore, this jutsu has no effect on chakra. Crystal Release Jade Crystal Wall 8th Formation This technique allows Guren to encase a large area in red crystal, thus crystallizing everything within it. This technique was first used in Guren's battle with the three-tailed beast, but to no avail as it broke out shortly after. Crystal Release Shuriken Wild Dance Guren surrounds herself in pink crystal particles, condensing them into numerous shuriken that can constantly revolve around her as she launches them at high speeds. Crystal Release, String of Glory After using the pressure points of harm and death technique, Guren encases herself in a prism of transparent blue crystal. The prism can hover in the air, but seems to be immobile. However, the prism protects her from almost any attack. In addition, this technique allows her to attack by focusing her chakra into powerful heat blasts launched through the prism's tip. Crystal Release, Tearing Crystal Falling Dragon the user crystallizes a material in the area, and then turns it into a pink Chinese-like dragon, with several pink horns and jade green irises. It can be used as a means to travel or to attack a target. Several dragons also can be made and manipulated at once. Crystal Release The God's Crossings Technique Guren places her hand on a surface, creating a long stream of sharp blue crystals to bind and pierce a target. Crystal Giant Hexagonal Shuriken Guren creates a giant jade green crystal shuriken resembling a snowflake and throws it at the enemy. Despite its sharpness, it wasn't able to penetrate the Three Tails shell. Crystal Hexagonal Shuriken Wild Dance Guren creates a pink crystal shuriken in the shape of a snowflake to launch at the target. The user can make them spin to increase their lethal power, and can break them off into multiple shards to catch an opponent off guard. Curse Mandala after performing various hand seals, the user is able to perform an ancient ninja art that is only known to a few generations of the Fuma clan. The technique traps the victim in a pyramid-like chakra cage which will slowly constrict as the user moves his hands closer together. Anyone caught in the mandala as it constricts will be crushed. The user of this technique must maintain a triangle-shaped hand seal at all times to maintain the cage. Should the user's will falter, or the entrapped opponent happen to be strong enough, the cage can be broken. When the cage breaks, a massive explosion of energy follows, destroying a wide area and harming the user. The prisoner, however, remains safe at the center of the blast. Curse Technique Body Controlling Manipulated Blood A Jujutsu technique which requires both the user and their opponent to be standing within a Jashin symbol, as well as obtaining the victim's blood and using it on their opponent. Afterwards, the puppet and victim become connected allowing any damage done to the puppet to be shared with the connected individual. 
Even if the victim dies, the connection isn't severed, leaving their corpse to eternally be a puppet. Curse Technique Death Controlling Possessed Blood the curse technique Death Controlling Possessed Blood is the exclusive jujutsu technique of Hidan and his primary method of killing opponents under Jashinism. The technique requires two special conditions. One being that Hidan must have drawn an insignia of Jashin on the ground in his own blood, to which he must remain in the center of for the technique to function properly. The other being for him to acquire and ingest the blood of his intended victim. Once ingested, his skin then turns black with white markings, which makes him look like a skeleton, a symbol of absolute death. This serves as the link between him and his victim. Once his sacrificial ritual takes place, the victim is linked with Hedon until he either steps out or is forced out of the circle. Any kind of injury that Hedon inflicts upon himself, or any injury that's inflicted upon him, is reciprocated upon his target, be it a mere scratch to a pierce of the heart. If Hedon is forced to step out of the circle, the link is temporarily broken and the victim is set free, but only as long as Hedon has stepped outside of the circle's reach. Basically, this technique makes Hedon a living voodoo doll. Cursed Sand Puppet Technique With the help of pre-existing sand, the user creates a great number of sentient sand puppets and sends them to fight the opponent. The puppets, however, aren't that sturdy and can be easily taken out with one blow. Cursed Seal of Earth the Cursed Seal of Earth is one of the strongest of Orochimaru's Cursed Seals, the other being its counterpart, the Cursed Seal of Heaven. This Cursed Seal is particularly strong even amongst the other already powerful Cursed Seals, with Kimimaro being the only known user, and with the Cursed Seal of Heaven standing as its only equal. Like all Cursed Seals, Kimimaro receives increased chakra levels, physical capabilities, and his ninjutsu skills become more effective when the seal is active. Cursed Seal of Heaven the Cursed Seal of Heaven is one of the strongest of Orochimaru's Cursed Seals, the other being its counterpart, the Cursed Seal of Earth. Like all Cursed Seals, the user receives increased chakra levels and physical capabilities, while the seal is active, to the point where with the second level, Sasuke was equal in power to Naruto's one-tailed form when he first used it. The seal was applied on the left side of the back of both Sasuke and Anko's necks. Anko received her Cursed Seal when she was a student of Orochimaru. She, along with nine others, were the first people to receive a cursed seal. She was the only one to survive the application, establishing the 1 in 10 success rate for the procedure. Because she lacked the will to use it, her seal receded, and in the anime, Orochimaru wiped her memory. Orochimaru was able to briefly reactivate the seal when they fought in the Forest of Death, before the third Hokage sealed it off again. It was fully removed when Sasuke used it as a medium to revive Orochimaru's consciousness and body via the evil releasing method. Orochimaru branded Sasuke with the cursed seal in the second phase of the Chunin exams, which took place in the Forest of Death. Orochimaru intended to have the seal corrode Sasuke's mind so he could become his next body. Kakashi Harake used the evil sealing method to try and prevent this, but its effectiveness relied on Sasuke's choosing not to use his cursed seal. Sasuke ultimately chose to advance his seal to its second level, and went to Orochimaru with the help of the Sound 4. When Sasuke activated the second level of the seal, his skin turned dark grey, and his hair grew and turned dark blue. His eyes also turned dark grey. Additionally, he grew webbed claw-shaped wings from his back, which he could use to fly and glide, and a dark star-shaped mark appeared across the bridge of his nose. Should any limbs be lost, Sasuke is able to replace them with snakes. During Sasuke's battle with Itachi Uchiha, he lost the cursed seal, along with Orochimaru, having earlier been absorbed into Sasuke's body, as they were removed with the sword of Tatsuka. According to Kabuto, the seal itself contains Orochimaru's chakra, which Kabuto used in order to improve the binding power of summoning impure world reincarnation. In fact, when Orochimaru was defeated, his consciousness remained split amongst the cursed seals, and Sasuke used that along with a piece of Kabuto's modified flesh to bring the former back to his original state and mind. Cursed Tongue Eradication Seal this cursed seal is given to all members of the Anbu subgroup Root by Donzo Shimura to ensure that no information about him or the organization fell into the wrong hands. After Donzo died, the seals disappeared from all Root members. When the wearer of this cursed seal speaks about anything incriminating related to Donzo or Root, their entire body will be paralyzed, 
taking away their ability to speak or move. It is applied to the tongue and takes the shape of three solid lines and two broken lines from the back of the tongue to the tip. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.